Hello, I am here with uh, Givius Malanji. Uh, Givius is a good friend. He's been a ministry partner of mine for the past three years. We've worked together and uh, we've traveled all over Manilamba together, uh, sharing the word of God. And today I just wanted you to hear a bit of his story, uh, how we first met. Yeah, like me, when we meet, we meet on the road. Um, on the road? Yes. So like we're traveling. You, What were you doing on the road? Me, I was coming to look the peace work. Peace work is like temporary, temporary employment? Yes. Okay. Yeah, because not everybody is familiar with some of the terms we're using. Yes. Um, so forgive me for interrupting. I just want to make it clear. Yes. Yeah, for after that, now I find Dave, and also I say I need a lift. He picked me there, and he started preaching the gospel to me. Since we are going together with the vehicle, and he started preaching the gospel to me after that, and he, he said, No, are you, you know Jesus Christ already? I said, No. I don't know because I was learning the pastors and the people who are preaching the word of God. So I was a person who, if someone to say to me that you know Jesus Christ, I don't even want to hear that word. But after that, when I meet with him, he taken me where the he usually do the Bible study with the people, a lot of people at Chief Dom Kafeko, now at Mweninilamba place. After that, where we went now, he was a lot of people gathered. Him is preaching the word of God. And after that, there are a lot of people now. Him, we started preaching. And also, I don't know what comes to me to say no. From today now, I'm a child of God. God forgive me everything which I was doing. And also now, well, there are a lot of people who received Jesus Christ in that place where he went. It was maybe 10 people. Yeah. After that. Oh, that's great. Yes. So, so what happened after that? How did, how did your relationship with, with me develop? And because uh, that was 20, what, 2020? 2020. So, so it's been three years now. Yes, 2020. Yeah, after that, now you you always started, Dave was calling me to say, you are free to come to me, and I started discipling me. After discipling me also, and also there's something which God, he, he said to me that for now, go around to the old chiefdom to start changing people. Oh, yes. that's great. Yes. So uh, around that same time, we started what I've called community groups. Yeah. Uh, these community groups are were designed to meet outside of the church structure. And the reason for that is because I didn't want to compete with different denominational doctrine, but I wanted to lay a biblical foundation that we could build on in the future. So, how many community groups have been started? We, when we do that, we was even make like um, the old chief dome there. Now we go around to make some community group, and also it was um, when I was looking on my my groups which we have for now. It's like uh, we have if we include even kids ministry. And also, we include even the... Just just the community groups, because we'll talk about children's ministry yeah, in a minute. Uh, yeah, the community group, which is like uh, 10 groups, which we have. Wow, 10 groups. Yes. So, there are several areas in the Munilamba Chiefdom. Uh, we have Kaswaswa A, B, Ikonga, uh, Kafueko, Madison, Chinyaji. And we started with 10, but it started quickly growing because the, the people that were coming to the groups, uh, it got too big. So we started having to break it into smaller groups. 
So now I think it's what, maybe 25 this or 30? Ta- this time now we have 30 groups. Yeah. So, but um, we had also, as we were traveling, there were a lot of children that were following uh, the ministry that we were doing. and They just wanted to be a part of it. Anytime we did conferences, children were eager to be in the front. Yeah. Um, so Overland Missions offered some training on children's ministry uh, about 2021. Yeah, 2021. Um, so I took Givius down there and myself, and we learned to do Kids on Fire, which is uh, a ministry that started by Liesl Pinar Overland Missions. Um, but it was always on my heart to take this training and turn it into something that could be used not only in English but also in Munda. So, so how many how many children's groups and how many Sunday schools are meeting now, 2023? Yeah, for now this 2023. Now we have like uh, 27 groups. Oh, yeah. And how many children come to, let's say, the one in Madison? I think that number is quite large, yeah? Yeah. The, the number for in Madison, we, we have a lot of kids. Like um, last time we have 300 kids. 300, yeah. wow. So, yeah, there's a, a lot of uh, tragedy surrounding the, the children that are coming to these groups. Sometimes uh, the people here, they have multiple wives, uh, which means a lot of children, but it doesn't necessarily translate into uh, a, a, a household where the father is present. So these children, when they come to, whether it would be the Sunday school or whether they come to the children's groups, they're learning their identity. They're learning who God created them to be. They're learning, um, you know, that God has a purpose and a plan for their lives. Uh, and recently, we we had a very special training uh, in Madison, and um, it was something that was birthed out of Givius's heart. Yeah. Uh, so so tell us a little bit about that training. Yeah. Now when uh, it was. Uh well, this month you now we was doing the training at Malison. There are some people who about, about six, seven people who seven. needed to started the preaching the gospel to the young ones. Yeah. So now we train them with Uncle Dave. We sit down. We train them how to preach the gospel to the young ones, and also even them we train them level one. Also, they was happy with that training, and also they was even saying that you no, know, most of the churches we they don't like the children. But since you have started preaching to us how to love love of God, which He loved all the people and including even the children. So this is the things which um, we have started for now to train some teachers for Sunday schools in this chief dorm. Okay, that's great. So what is what is your vision? How do you imagine this expanding in the future? So my my vision for now, um, my vision, um, including more youths, I'm also opening some youths groups and also I'm opening some, those youths, they started preaching the gospel to the young ones. Also, we are meeting with uh, like a team. We have our team like uh, teachers for Sunday schools. This is what I'm starting now to be meeting together to make some plans what we can do for this future or for this time. But uh, now, even in that chief dome, we have changed a lot of things in that chief dome because even the readers of the church, they have seen the potential for the young ones. And are you seeing the power of the gospel impacting these children's lives? How can you maybe share some testimonies of things that you've seen? Yeah, I have seen because uh, most of the young ones, they have even started going in that chief dome, in that areas, to play 
to, to pray with their fathers, to play with their mom, and also healing is there. Also, they are going to round to preach the word of God in that chief dome in that area. Yes, that's great. So it sounds like the future is getting brighter for these young ones. Yes, and also I know that if we continue like preaching the word to the young ones, even that churches they will change because even that area will change. Like even their mothers and fathers, they was even appreciating to us with Dave and to say that you have changed in this area, you have impact with the word of God with these young ones also, and we have seen the potential of the young ones. They started even go around to preach one another the gospel. That's great. Yeah. Now, do you see this expanding beyond the Munilamba chiefdom into the other areas? Yeah, also now we are already even started moving to go to different chiefdom when chief, different chiefdom like Nyakaseya, Ikelenge, also we are going there to preach the gospel with the young ones there to make some teams because we need the old chiefdom to be have kids on fire, to be have teachers for Sunday school. I want to train them. I want to go to the old chief domes eh, to train them at Ikalenga district. That's great. So just let me brag a bit about uh, Givius um, because we've been together for, for only about three years, but I'm happy to say I've watched him mature and grow in the things of God. Um, you know, he has taken his faith very seriously. Uh, the meetings that we've had at our overland base, he's been present. The things that I've asked of him to travel throughout the chiefdom, he's been faithful to do that. And there's many, many more testimonies that he has shared with me that we, we simply don't have time for. But I'm happy for him and the direction that God is taking his life. And I have no doubt that uh, the Munilamba chiefdom uh, will be changed and transformed by, by this young man and his vision for the children. And um, I'm happy to call him friend. Thank you.